Hey you guys, it's your girl Lacosta here with another video. Welcome to my channel, Real Life Love and Me. If you are new, I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you are returning, I would like to say thank you so much for being a consistent follower. In today's video, I am going to be letting you guys know what my six goals are for the upcoming week of August the 10th through August the 16th. So if you like to hear what those goals are, stay tuned to this video. Okay, you guys, I am back. Normally, I will have music going, but this time I wanted to talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So there's no music in the background. And hopefully the D-O-G-S will stay quiet because they weren't quiet a minute ago. I had to kind of wait till they settle down. So, anywho, I have my goals written down on a piece of paper. And I also have my passion planner, which is my goal planner. So these goals that I'm going to let you know of for this week is going to transfer from this to this. So you all will be able to see me write those goals in my plan with me video that's going to be in my passion planner. Um, I said that also wrong you guys will be able to see what those goals are and how i am transferring them from one piece of paper to my goal planner in my plan with me passion planner video that will be uploaded later on in the week i think i got that right if not i think you got you understand what i'm talking about so okay uh, let's just quickly do a recap from last week. Last week, I had six goals that I wanted to work on for the week, and I did put them in this passion planner. So, um, unfortunately, I got sick on Tuesday, Tuesday, August the 5th. No, I'm sorry, August the 4th. I got sick, and it was what happened was my headache started coming back and when i get those extreme headaches any light any sound anything will trigger it and it makes the pain even worse also my balance was off my balance was terrible so in the midst of me suffering with the headache I also fell on Tuesday. I did hurt myself, but I am okay. Wednesday, I did get to my doctor. That report was okay. Wednesday, I also fell. So, a lot going on. So, I was like, you know what? I just got to take it easy. I'm not going to worry about my goals for that week because i need to take care of myself i need to get in better health so you have me here now it's sunday august the 9th i'm okay i am not 100 i am okay though i'm trying to gain my strength back uh i'm not overdoing it i am taking it easy so this is technically my first video that I am doing for the upcoming week. And I'm okay with that. I, I really am okay with it. Sometimes you just have to stop and take a minute and be like, okay, I got to take care of myself. My, my health and my mental awareness, self-care, all of that is important. So... Yeah, I had to kind of step back for a minute. So, excuse the background noise that you hear. I think my neighbors is cutting grass. <laughs> Y'all, it's so funny. I either have somebody cutting grass or the dogs 
or loud music going up my street that is a part of my real life so yeah anywho let's get to these goals all right so my goals for last week um was get blog posts and newsletter out drink water eat healthier exercise for a minimum of 30 minutes get up at 5 day 5 30 a.m every morning and start working on voice over videos all right and if you want to catch that video i will link all of the information in the description down below so let's see which ones that i did accomplish i did get a blog post out yay I did start back drinking my water as I was supposed to. Now, in the midst of me getting sick, no, I was not drinking any water. I was pretty much praying to God for the headache to stop. So, um, but the days that I can manage myself, I was drinking my water. So, I did drink water. Eating healthy. Um, there were some days I ate baked foods. Um, the other days I did not eat baked food. So, um, yeah, we're going to try that one again. There was no exercising for a minimum of 30 minutes. So guess what? That rolls over into this week. Um, the getting up at 5.30 a.m. every morning that did start for the week. Um, going to roll it over into this week. So I can start getting myself up early to kind of get my day going. So I can have my cap time to myself. And the starting, um, working on the voiceover videos, I did not start that. That is okay. That will, that is not being rolled over to this week. I'm going to push that down, um, and work on that a few weeks later on. Um, it's not mandatory that I do that right now. So, but, um, yeah, it's coming soon. All right. So that was the, those were the goals from last week. Let's get to the goals this week. Number one, continue to drink my water. I am very proud of myself because I have a water bottle. I thought I had it. I had it near me. I don't. I guess it's in the kitchen or on my dining room table. But I have. Oh, actually, I have this one because I'm going to monogram this, y'all. It is like this. This is the water bottle, but mine is the teal color. This is a 22 ounce stainless steel top water bottle. I purchased this from Walmart. This bottle was $1. I purchased teal, clear, pink, and purple. And at the time, those were the only colors that they had. So you can't beat this for a dollar. Um, actually, I am on my second one for, my second bottle like this for the day. But in the middle, in the midst of those two, I drank a 16.9 ounce bottle of water. So I am still keeping up with my water. So I'm going to continue to keep that on my goals list. So that's done. Number two, the blog post and newsletter from go from last week. As I mentioned, I got the blog post out, but I did not get my newsletter out. But guess what? newsletter was typed up last night newsletter is scheduled to go out on wednesday so i am excited that that goal will be accomplished this week i also have a new blog post that i am posting on wednesday as well so i typed that up last night and it's scheduled to go out on wednesday thank god for scheduling programs so that that goal is going to be accomplished um this week so in the midst of the blog and the newsletter i am going to excuse me i'm going to do a podcast episode i'm scheduled for myself to record the podcast episode on tuesday i am going to edit it on Wednesday or Thursday. There is something in my eye. Oh, okay. Anywho, um, edit the, edit the podcast episode on Wednesday or Thursday. 
the podcast episode will be released on Friday. I'm not going to give you the title of the podcast episode. Stay tuned to all my social media outlets, Facebook and Instagram on both of my Instagram accounts, Real Life Love and Me, as well as Lady Gaston Plans, and you will be informed of when the podcast episode is out the name of my podcast is real life love and me that information is linked now in the description so click on my podcast so you can become a subscriber to my podcast as well number three yes the exercise for 30 minutes did a rollover so it went from last week to this week i have got to start back exercising that was one of the conversations that i had with my doctor on uh wednesday and i'm sure i'm going to have with my doctor again um tomorrow so i've got to start exercising you guys so i'm going to demand myself to do 30 minutes a day all right also um I'm sorry, I went blank, uh, blank there for a minute. Um, the continue to get up at 5.30 a.m. Now, last week, y'all, it is something in my eye, and it's really bothering me. Ooh, and it's kind of burning. So, anywho, um, getting up at 5.30. A couple of days, I did, I did that last week. I did. I did not do it every day of the week, of course, but I did do it. A couple of days on last week now the first day I did it was Monday when I got up at 5 30 Monday morning I came to my desk here in my home office and I had my time alone my time alone is just for me to kind of gather myself do my morning meditation and just have some quiet time to myself before I really get my day going and get ready for work so that one is being rolled over to this week as well. So, number five, I really need to do something relating to self-care. Um, I know in the midst of the pandemic, things have been kind of crazy for everybody, including myself. Well, a lot of self-care activities have not been taking place because number one, you know, you're limited to where you can go. Number two, you have to wear a mask and social distancing and everything. So my self-care habits have not been the best the last few months, but that's gonna end this week. I am determined to do something related to healthcare for myself. Um, that's either probably taking a bubble bath or maybe, I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. I really don't. So I'm, I am determined that by Friday evening, Friday is August the 14th, by Friday evening at 8 p.m., I have got to do something relating to self-care for myself. And if I don't mention it to you guys, I need you to uh, message me to check to see if I've done my self-care activity. Number six, organize my jewelry collection. Now, <laughs> I, I am an independent paparazzi consultant. I sell paparazzi jewelry. Yes, I do. I love jewelry myself therefore i have so much jewelry y'all i really do and it is completely taking over my dresser so it's almost to the point where i can't even put my little makeup mirror on my dresser anymore because i have so much jewelry so and i have four of no i have Yes, I have four of the pocket organizers. I forgot that he bought me another one. Um, I have four of the pocket organizers to where I can organize my earrings, my bracelets, my um, necklaces. I have all of that. I do. I just need to put it to use. So, <laughs> my goal this week is to organize my jewelry collection. That's going to be interesting in itself because that's not going to be something that's going to take five or ten minutes. I'm looking at probably two to three hours. I have just that much jewelry. So, 
that that is on my goals list for this week how am i going to achieve those goals hold that thought there's nothing better than having a nice cup of joe on a sunday evening relaxing i really can drink coffee all day long y'all anywho um what was i saying oh yeah these are my goals for the week now they may sound simple they may sound small they may sound dumb to some but they're not dumb and they're not small to me they are big to me and they are realistic one thing i have learned in setting my goals is to be realistic with myself and the task that goes with achieving that particular goal so right now in this level of my life these are the type of goals that i am achieving now there are bigger goals that i have those are they are in my passion planner yes they are but these goals that i'm trying to achieve daily i'm also trying to start it as a habit tracker meaning keeping track of this particular habit so it like the uh the drinking of the water if i have that on every week maybe by week four i don't have to put that on my goals list anymore because my body and my mind has gotten adjusted to drinking water every single day and it has become a normal habit so who knows by week four that may not even be on my goals list anymore as well as the exercising for 30 minutes you got to start somewhere with your goals you got to start somewhere with the habits that you want to start doing and the goals that you want to try to achieve so therefore this is how la costa is starting and i am looking forward to i like writing in my planners or leaving myself notes when i have achieved a goal so and and those i don't just stop at those type goals i have goals for my businesses i have goals for my blogs i have a lot of goals in other areas of my life but the real part of me these are the goals that i'm starting with that i can achieve day by day one by one if i mess up it's okay if you mess up on your goals it's okay I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to make note of it. And when I'm able to go back to it, guess what? I'm going to go back to it, pick up where I left off and keep on going. Just like last week. I didn't know I was going to get sick last week. So I had to put my goals to a halt. Things happen. And I'm feeling okay now. So that means I can pick those goals, some of those goals back up and keep going. So. But yeah, those are my six goals for the weeks you got. For the weeks. No, for the week. And for those that reached out to me on last week and checking in to see how did I um, do in achieving the goals on last week, thank you so much for being my accountability partner. I need that. that that's the reason why I'm starting back doing these goal videos so I can have a reputable accountability partner so that's all for this video you guys thank you so very much for watching if you like what you saw in this video please give your girl a thumbs up as well as leave me a comment down there in the comment section also if you are not subscribed to my channel i have absolutely no idea what you're waiting on how about you go and hit that red subscribe button as well as that little bell notification that's right next to it so you will be notified when there are new videos uploaded to my channel such as this one. So until next time you guys, smooches!